Alzheimer's disease is the commonest cause of dementia and this again is more common in older people after the age of 50 and as the age increases the incidence and prevalence of Alzheimer's disease also increases and with the increase in lifespan and longevity the, the number of patients that we see with Alzheimer's disease is also increasing. But is it possible to you know predict based on one of the early symptoms that somebody is more prone to get Alzheimer's disease? Yes, it is possible. I will be surprised to know that the loss of smell. If a person has loss of smell, that person has a higher risk of getting developing Alzheimer's disease at a later date. Now, you may be wondering how is smell connected to brain? It is connected because if you look at the smell, the nerve fibers, even though you perceive smell from the nose, the olfactory nerves, they go to the frontal lobes and the actual perception of smell occurs in the frontal lobe. Uh, which is again one of the parts of the brain in addition to temporal lobes which are affected in Alzheimer's disease. So because of the central connections, brain connections of the olfactory system, that is one of the earliest symptoms if a person has difficulty in perceiving smell or if the smell is reduced, what is called as anosmia, then that could be one of the early features and the person needs detailed evaluation and also regular follow-up to see whether the person is going to develop Alzheimer's disease or not. At the same time, we can also suggest lifestyle modification, the factors which can reduce the risk of dementia, which could mean, you know, doing regular physical activity, engaging the brain in more, you know, meaningful activities, spending time with families because uh, loneliness is also a risk factor for dementia. If there are risk factors like diabetes, hypertension or high cholesterol, that should be treated. So all this and also healthy food. So these are the factors which can reduce the risk of dementia. And loss of smell is not only a marker for Alzheimer's disease. It has been found that loss of smell can be a marker for almost close to 139 different conditions and that includes Parkinson's disease and many other conditions also. So, you know, just keep, uh, you know, keep a watch. It could be a very useful test for the doctors to do in the clinic also that if we can, which can be easily tested and if the person is found to have reduced sense of smell, they need detailed evaluation and regular follow up to see whether they are going to develop any serious disease like Alzheimer's disease in the future or not.